When someone's all alone and standing on the edge And somebody reaches out and pulls them in Love wins When someone's running out of places they can run Ashamed of their mistakes and things they've done When someone opens up a door with open arms Says come on in, love wins Love is patient, love is kind Love don't care who's wrong or right Doesn't envy, doesn't boast, it doesn't quit it's not selfish, it's not proud Love's the noise above the loud It never fails, it forgets and it forgives Love wins When a husband leaves the house and slams the door her say that she don't love him anymore But after 20 years together They thank God they try to get Love wins Love is patient, love is kind Love don't care who's wrong or right It doesn't end me, it doesn't boast It doesn't quit It's not sad shy at it at first, but um, she quickly opened up and we started seeing every aspect of, you know, why Bubba fell in love with her so fast. We, uh, <clears throat> I remember when Bubba started getting serious about Chloe, and, and it really was when he started canceling plans on me to hang out with Chloe all the time. <laughs> you know, I, I, I do, I, I, I truly remember feeling a bit selfish at the time, thinking why in the world is he not wanting to be with me all the time. And uh, it was Chloe's, the one that I feel like jumped right back out 
and she always felt me, she always made me feel included. They're really special people and they deserve the very best and I'm so happy that they found that in each other and I couldn't ask for greater friends and you know I consider them to be family. That's right. You say you'll be down in five The smell of your perfume Is floating down the stairs You're fixing up your hair like you do I know that I'll be a mess The second that I see you You won't be surprised It happens every time It's nothing new It's always on a night like tonight I thank God you can read my mind Cause when you look at me with those eyes oh, I'm speechless Staring at you, standing there what it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room something to me and I've been in a daze ever since the day that we met you take the breath out of my lungs can't even fight it and all of the words out of my mouth without even trying and I'm speechless staring at you standing there in that dress what it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room Unbelievably beautiful. 
and Bubba Crosby, you are about to marry a beautiful bride. Let us rejoice that Bubba and Chloe will join in marriage in the presence of God and of their loved ones. O most awesome, glorious, and blessed God, grant your blessings now to this bride and this groom. Surrounded by loved ones whose joy and prayers are with you here, you stand at the entrance of this home. It's just a symbol. It's a symbol of the home the two of you all established together. You see, tonight, the pastor and I said, we pray that your home will be a shelter against the storm, a haven of peace, a stronghold of faith and love. And each one of us who has journeyed from near and far, we give our thanks to God that we've lived to see this awesome moment in your lives. In this union, the sacred work of creation goes on. It's God who joins this man and this woman. God has planted divine likeness within them. Man and woman were created in the divine image. Male and female, God has created them. May the union of Bubba and Chloe, Chloe and Bubba, animate the divine in each one of them, and may each help the other to grow now in God's likeness. Let us all bestow our blessing and our consent upon this union, as we said. So, Bubby, Bubba, Bubby, there you go. <laughs> Bubba, that's it. We can have you be one person. It doesn't happen a lot. Unbelievable. <laughs> Bubba and Chloe, the Bible, which is shared by Jews and Christians alike, it starts with these words. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was void and without form. Darkness over the surface of the deep. God said, let there be light. Then there was light. Now the, the sages tell us the reason the Bible starts that way is that God made the world just by speaking out loud. He didn't have to do anything at all. Just the, the power of his words, he caused an entire world to come into existence. And that reminds us of y'all. Because tonight, in just a few moments, you too will speak sacred words, holy words, one to the other. And in a little sense, like God, you're going to cause an entire world to come into existence. It's the world of your love, the world of your marriage. So tonight, that's the one thought that I bring to you from somebody who's been married a long time. Words matter. May the words that the two of you all have between each other are always words of concern, words of commitment, perhaps best of all, words of compromise. So we use these words from Scripture to bless you as you begin your married life together. May God bless this couple with strength, and most importantly, may they always be blessed with peace. As they say in church, can I get an amen? Amen. Awesome. Let me ask you now, in the presence of God and this assembly, do you, Bubba, take Chloe to be your wife, to love, to honor, and to cherish? And do you, Chloe, take Bubba to be your husband, to love, to honor, and to cherish? At every wedding, obviously, the, the rabbi or the pastor, we read the prayers because that's what a wedding is about. It connects us with all the weddings that have ever occurred. But this couple is unique, right? This is, this is an extraordinary event, a sacred and holy event. So the bride and groom have written their own vows that they wish to share with us tonight. Is that yours? Yeah. Awesome. Do you, want, do you want the mic? Yeah. Test. Bubba, from the very beginning, I knew our relationship was special. The first few times we spent together, unexpected things would happen that I now know were signs that we were made to be together. You will forever and always be my person and my best friend. You have made my life an adventure since day one, and I can't thank you enough for pushing me every day. I hope you continue to push me for the rest of our lives. I don't know if I ever told you this, but one night, I was at Marissa's apartment <laughs> at the Grove watching The Bachelor, <laughs> and you showed up to hang out. You were going back to Augusta that night, so I walked you out later on to say goodbye. We kissed and hugged, and I remember when we hugged, I thought to myself, wow, I really love him, <laughs> and I didn't want to let go. You ended up deciding to stay in Milledgeville with me that night, and that's the night you told me you loved me. It was like we both felt it at the same time. We have always been on the same page, and that's something I love about our relationship. We have always been partners. Now, as your partner in life, as your wife, 
I promise to always stand by your side. I promise to love you fiercely with my whole heart, no matter what comes our way. Even when I'm hangry and don't act like it. <laughs> I promise to cuddle with you every night, as long as you're the big spoon. <laughs> I promise to always dance with you, even if you can't keep a beat. <laughs> I promise to always support you in all your dreams, no matter how crazy they are. <laughs> and I promise to trust you with all of my being. Bubba Crosby, to me, you are home. And I'm so lucky I get to spend forever with you as your wife. In the words of Reese Witherspoon, now I get to kiss you whenever I want. <laughs> I love you so much. Chloe, when I met you, my first thought was, God, this girl is absolutely beautiful. I love your beautiful brown eyes and your long dark hair. I could tell right away you were a special girl and I need you in my life. After you played hard to get for a couple of weeks, you finally agreed to go on a date with me. I quickly realized that you were not just beautiful on the outside, but you were even more beautiful on the inside. You were my person, and I knew you were going to be my wife one day. I'm so happy I found somebody that cares for me and loves me as much as I love you. Chloe, you're my best friend, and I don't know what I would do without you. <laughs> I love you more than you can imagine, and I promise I'll always be there for you. I promise I, was, I will always keep you smiling and laughing forever. When you're being hard on yourself, I'll be there to remind you how smart beautiful and strong you are. I will always keep encouraging you to be the best person you can be, and I promise I'll always have you back no matter what, even when you hit a curve and get mad at me for warning you. <laughs> <laughs> when the time comes, I promise that I'll be the best dad in the world, because I know you'll be the best mom in the world. We will work together as a team to create a happy family and raise wonderful kids. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. Baby girl, I love you, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love and Chloe, since you've had these vows, you've expressed your love, it's now time for you to change the phrase. But before I let you guys go down this road, I want to talk to you a little bit about the rings, okay? Look at my hand. This ring, I'm bragging on how cheap I am. <laughs> I bought it at Sears in July of 1992 for $92. 26, 26 years later, it's been straightened, it's been stretched, it's tattered, it's torn, it's dented, but it is precious. Too many times people count the jewel on the ring or the gold in the metal as precious. Do you know what makes something precious? It's how much you value it. It's how much you value this covenant. This ring is not jewelry. This ring is a promise. A promise you have made to him. He has made to you. What makes a promise special is how much you love it. How much you care about it. I can tell you when I thought I was in love, I put this ring on. It does not compare to what I feel now. 26 years, three children later. Before you exchange your rings, I want you to think about this. It's not the ring that is special, it is the promise you share. The Bible talks about a term called a covenant. I want you to understand you are entering into a covenant. You promised one another, and you promised God that you will be together, that you will seek to honor Him. I want to ask you to think about something else. If you love something and it's precious to you, it will change you the longer you're with it. And Bubba, I know you've got nasty hands like mine. But you can see around my ring finger, there's a cow that will never go away. I have been changed by this ring, but not nearly as much as I've been changed by the covenant I share with you. When bad times come, I have a covenant to go back on. When good times are there, I have a covenant to celebrate. And for you, I want to tell you this, because this is a beautiful, fantastic time. 
bad times will come. Hard times will be there. But how precious you hold your cup. How precious you hold your cup. Is what will get you. And so as we exchange rings, I want you to not enter into this life. And I want you to understand that these rings represent something more important than jewelry. Something more important than a date on the calendar. It's a covenant you've made from now until God takes you. So with that, we have rings. <laughs> now, Bub, as you place this ring on Chloe's hand, I like to repeat these words to her. Chloe, I will always be there for you. Chloe, I'll always be there for you. Just as you are there for me. Pastor rightly says that we have to look at this relationship as not just for one evening or one day or one week, but as a covenant for all time. It's a biblical custom to invite the bride and groom and their witnesses to come forward, and this is what the biblical contract says. It is the first day of the week and the 29th day of the month of Elul in the year 5778. It corresponds to the 8th day of September, 2018. The bride and the groom enter into the covenant of marriage as loving companions surrounded by family and friends and witnessed by God they promise to affirm their commitment to each other Bubba to Chloe he says surrounded by family and friends our lives will be forever intertwined and Chloe responds each day we will strive to deepen our relationship to listen compassionately to accept and understand one another the bride to the groom and the groom to the bride unite in our shared values because they'll strengthen us. They'll honor our differences. They'll enrich us. Our family will practice customs rooted in the traditions of our ancestors. But we will leave space too in our lives for new customs created from our shared experience. Our home will be a place of warmth and generosity and most of all love. These things we promise each other as we joyfully commit ourselves as husband and wife. Bubba and Chloe, the couple just before us now is symbolic of the cup of life. As the two of you all guarantee to share each other your lives together, whatever drops of sweetness life may contain, we know will be sweeter because you've chosen to share your lives. I'm going to recite the ancient blessings from the Old Testament. This gives you a little taste of what the Bible sounded like originally. <laughs> So, Bubba, you get to hold it, but what's the cardinal rule of marriage? Oh, yeah, that's all. <laughs> He's trainable, Chloe. Take a sip. Down the All right. So, yeah, trust me, I do this for a living. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> But in any case, Baba and Chloe, Chloe and Baba, the two of you have now spoken the sacred words and performed the ancient rites which unite your lives. It's our happy privilege. We declare you now husband and wife, wife and husband, married now in accordance with the laws of this state before the eyes of God and your community. Before we can dismiss you for the party, I want to thank you guys so much. Obviously, as I said, the pastor is Baba's uncle. I have known the Parkers for almost 20 years, a long time. So I feel like an adopted member of their family. I feel very grateful that they would let me be the guy to stand here on their daughter's most important day. We're going to end the service. We're going to use a verse from Scripture, which is common for Jews and Christians alike. Please bow your heads. May God bless you and keep you. May God's presence shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God's presence be with you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. So, 
They're right there. For those of you who have never seen the Jewish ceremony before, always ends with the breaking of something made of glass. Bubba, it's got lots of layers and levels of symbolism. Obviously, it's a good luck symbol. But as I've been trying to explain to you, for as long as I've been married, for as long as your families have been married, from now on, she comes first. Whatever Chloe wants, that's what happens. It's her needs. As long as she, as her needs are met, she will take care of you. But you've got to promise that she always comes first. You promise that? No problem. Awesome. So when Bubba breaks this glass, let it serve as a kind of, well, you know, it's a kind of an eternal reminder. This is the very last time he'll ever put his foot down.
Used to spend my nights out in the ballroom Massachusetts, Philadelphia, Arizona, Connecticut, and California. So diverse, and something some you probably forgot. Um, I want to thank Richard and Missy again for just a wonderful evening last night. Uh, it has been such a joy uh, getting to know the Crosbys and their entire family over these five plus years. Um, I want to give a special shout out to my better half, or my better three quarters. Uh, for, as usual, not missing a beat and being extremely detail-oriented on every little thing. Uh, she can be that way, <laughs> uh, if you're not aware. Um, Bubba Crosby, uh, we truly could not be more delighted that you and Chloe found each other. Uh, you're a southern gentleman. Uh, you are extremely driven and have a great work ethic. Work ethic. Uh, you are my golfing and fishing buddy. Uh, you have become a big brother to the twins and a son to me. Uh, when Chloe first uh, brought you home, uh, I was thrilled to meet you. I just kept telling Karen and Chloe I just didn't realize how tall he was going to be. <laughs> um, you're also very handy, uh, which works for our entire family because I am not very handy, uh, to say the least. Uh, I remember one of our summer trips to Sarasota. Uh, one of our neighbors, an elderly couple, had a flat, flat tire and without hesitation, you offered to fix it uh, and did so in minutes. Um, since uh, the two of you started dating, I have often thought about the circle of life. Um, you started dating when I was in my late 40s, and all of a sudden, uh, we have this young, strong buck uh, in the house uh, who can help with lifting and schlepping things so I don't have to wrench my back. So it's very interesting how that works when you have all girls. Uh, and, now, and now to my Chloe there. Chloe was born, born the morning after the infamous O.J. Simpson car chase. <laughs> uh, we, had, uh, we had a real nice room in Northside Hospital, one of the birthing suites, and uh, Karen was in the bathroom, uh, throwing up as I recall, and, and I was glued to the TV set saying, you can't believe what's going on here. <laughs> and uh, so Chloe was such a good baby, she was nick nicknamed the AB, the angel baby. Um, all of our friends and family were amazed how good she was, how smiley she was, and I would always say obnoxiously and egotistically, uh, it's how you raise them. Uh, 
but, the, but then the twins, the twins were born, uh, who were not easy, who were not easy. So that, so that theory was pretty much shot. Um, and I, I know that everyone believes their kids are beautiful uh, when they're born, but I have to say, when Karen and I would take Chloe to the mall or restaurant or be on a plane, people would constantly stop us in our tracks and comment how gorgeous she was. She always had a smile for everyone. Um, Chloe, I know that Bubba and the Crosby family uh, have come to understand what we have always known, that you are beautiful inside and out, you are a great friend, you are a great big sister, and a role model to Jenna and Lauren. Uh, your mother and I are so proud of you, uh, for the young woman you are, and we love you so much. Um, with that said, I'd like us to raise our glasses, which I don't have one, but that's fine. <laughs> Pretend. Uh, yeah. Toast to the beautiful couple. We wish them health, happiness, and a wonderful life as husband and wife. I love you. Speaking of beautiful, I'd like to take a moment for everybody to look at Chloe and look how absolutely beautiful you are. Alright, so for those of you that do not know, Bob and I have always been best of the friends since the beginning. We've always had the same interests and the same friend groups growing up, so naturally we were always together. We went to school together, we would hang out after school together, and for the first decade of our lives we even shared the same room together. You know, most would assume that we'd get on each other's nerves and fight all the time, but that wasn't the case. Of course, we'd bicker and argue back and forth, but the biggest fight we've ever been in was whoever got to sit in the front seat. <laughs> you know, when I look back and try to think about why we never fought, I believe it's because he knew deep down that I would win. <laughs> you know it, Bubba. But all jokes aside, you know, we never fought because Bubba is the most easygoing person I've ever known. It's such an honor to stand here today being his best man because you are the person I've looked up to the most my entire life. <laughs> and let me explain why Bubba from Macon... <laughs> I'd also like to explain why Bubba from Macon, Georgia is the person that I look up to the most, right? <laughs> For starters, Bubba knows how to control a room better than anyone I've ever met. And truth be told, I don't even think he does it on purpose. It just seems natural for everyone to gravi gravitate towards him. You know, he doesn't even light up the room on purpose, but he dives into every conversation with true sincerity, and that's very rare. You know, uh, I know a bunch of people can contest to this, but no matter where I am or what setting I'm in, I can always count on someone coming up to me and saying, oh, you're Bubba Crosby's little brother? I love him. <laughs> and I can't tell you how happy I am to hear that. Whether you're talking about roofing, his terrible golf game, <laughs> football, or his favorite reality TV show, you're going to get a genuine conversation. 
Besides being genuine and kind, you are such a hard worker and a true leader. If you don't believe me, you can ask anybody he works with or he works against. And I'm confident they'll tell you the same thing. Uh, Bob is really humble, so he'd never say this, but in the few short years he's lived in Augusta, he's built one of the strongest roofing companies in the area. There's a number of reasons why he's proven to be successful, but the biggest reason is he's able to inspire the best out of everybody he comes in contact with. Bob, I am so proud of you, how you live every aspect of your life, and I'm thankful to have you as my best friend. And you know, I can sit around here and talk about Chloe's best qualities for hours. I messed that up. Bob's best qualities for hours. <laughs> The best part of Bob is sitting right next to him, and that's Chloe Parker. Well, Chloe Crosby. Wow. Okay. Wow, that's great to say. I love that. Mrs. Chloe Crosby. Chloe, I could not imagine a better person for my brother to spend his life with. You're an amazing person from the inside out, and I've enjoyed becoming one of your closest friends over the last couple years. When Bob and Chloe started dating, once again, I was still spending all of my time with Bob. I worked for him, I lived with him, and every Friday we'd hop in the truck and drive to Milledgeville and act like we were still in college. So in a way, Chloe got a two-for-one special, because she started dating Bubba plus his kid brother. For the first few years of their relationship, I was right there for so much of it. We went to dinner, just the three of us, we sit at the lake, just the three of us. <laughs> it was just us, just the three of us. I never thanked you for never making me feel like the third wool that I truly was. <laughs> I didn't realize it in the moment, but I was so selfish with Bubba's time because I'd never seen a girl walk into his life and sweep him off his feet like you did. One day, Bubba's hanging out with me every second of the weekend, and a few weeks later, he cancels hanging out with me because he's trying to catch this week's episode of Keeping Up With Our Kardashians. <laughs> You know it's true. It's not true. <laughs> you know, for me, I never understood why he'd cancel to watch these reality TV shows. But, it, you know, it just hit me one day. If uh, Chloe invited him to watch paint dry, he'd drop his plans and do it. And it's only fitting that after all these years, I'm not only looking up to you, Bubba, but I'm looking up to you as well, Chloe, for how you two lead your relationship and handle your entire lives. You always put each other first. You always make each other happy you always know when to not see each other. <laughs> you set the bar, the bar so high for all of us, and I'm so happy you guys are together. Please join us in raising your glass to Chloe and Bubba Crosby. <laughs> now that I can breathe, I'm gonna pass you guys off to Marissa Swanson. <laughs> short and brief because like Miss Karen said last night, I do not have enough waterproof mascara on. Um, I can't believe you two trust me enough with the mic for the second time. We don't. <laughs> Speak the truth, Bella. Speak the truth. <laughs> but for those of you that don't know me, I'm Carissa. I'm Chloe's Mozilla because y'all know Chloe's too sweet to ever be a bridezilla. <laughs> Um, to get started on a little backstory, Chloe and I have known each other since high school, but we became inseparable when I prepped her for our sorority in college, which allowed me the privilege of being able to watch these two not only grow as individuals, but grow as a couple, and to get to this very memorable day. There are enough words to describe how special today continues to be, and in the confidence I have in y'all's partnership, I know the celebration will continue throughout your marriage. Chloe, I've had the honor to watch you excel in everything you set your mind to, including planning this incredible day. And as your friend, I truly could not be prouder. You had the courage to move to a new city, start a new job, and move away from your family and friends with such grace. And even though you may be younger than me, <laughs> um, <laughs> I have to follow in the footsteps of your bravery and accomplishments. You both are so deserving of a great love, and I am so glad you found that in each other. 
I've never seen this girl happier, not just today, but any day that she's with Bubba. Special appreciation goes to y'all's families for raising such extraordinary people who are kind, supportive, loving, and honest. And I'm pretty sure everyone here today can attest for that. Thank you, Bubba, for loving my best friend. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm trembling, I don't know how to tell. Um, thank you for treating her the, with such hard regard because she is so deserving of a lifetime of happy memories and I know you'll provide her with just that and hopefully a whole backyard full of corgis one day. <laughs> you two make great partners and a great looking couple, let's be honest. <laughs> Cheers y'all, I love y'all so much and I can't wait to see you both excel in the future. 